Welcome to Rick's Europe, Beatrice Tingri, a member of the European Parliament for the Sweden Democrats. Thank you. And uh, why do you think Sweden has low levels of illegal cigarettes uh, while neighboring countries have much higher levels? Yeah, I would like to start with the, the widespread use of stoves and pouches, nicotine pouches in Sweden. And uh, that has resulted in a small market compared to other countries due to the low levels of uh, smokers. And also, and I also believe that due to the fact that we only increase the taxes in small steps, back in the 90s, we actually made a significant increase in tax on cigarettes, which uh, led to a rise in illegal cigarettes. And it's not only about the taxes, that we lose taxes. I think we need to face another, much more important fact when it comes to illegal cigarettes. That's uh, the health issue. Of course, uh, cigarettes, that's, uh, that's really harmful uh, in the first place. But uh, illegal cigarettes is even worse because um, they might contain higher level of uh, uh, heavy metal and pesticides because you don't have this quality shake and it also promotes organized crimes and um, that's why I think the Swedish policy uh, has succeeded. What do you think uh, France and the EU could learn from Sweden's tobacco regulations and the success of uh, Sweden's national oral tobacco and nicotine industry? I think they should take experience from Swedish harm reduction policy because just consider the fact that Sweden has the lowest level of tobacco related death in EU and in Sweden we have a much less harmful alternatives and also the fact that if you compare Sweden and another country we can say Belgium for example um, the amount of smokers is much higher in Belgium, about 20%, and in Sweden we have approximately 5%. But if you compare the nicotine use, uh, the user, it's um, about the same level in the whole uh, Europe. And uh, we have another alternatives. So I think uh, we need to focus more on the harm reduction and actually see, look at the result that we actually have in Sweden. And I think um, they need to, the, uh, to look at the result from Sweden when they develop their own tobacco regulation in other countries around Europe. Uh, do you support uh, the idea of a tax system like Sweden's where taxes on snooze are lower and taxes on cigarettes are higher? Absolutely. I think um, I would like to support this model and I think uh, this is an important signal because uh, nicotine pouches is much less harmful than cigarettes. Uh, also the price for the society is much uh, lower for snus users than uh, for smokers. And the, I think the most important part is the signal itself. And in some countries, people actually think that the snooze is much uh, more harmful because snooze is banned. And uh, I, I think um, it's like banning beer and allowing vodka. So if you go into a bar and ask for a beer and they will tell you that, no, it's not healthy, but would you like to have a glass of vodka instead? Uh, so uh, I think we need to look at the other alternatives and um, have this harm reduction policy that we actually have in Sweden and by taxes actually sh uh, show the signal that uh, we have another health much uh, better, I wouldn't like to say healthy because it's not healthy, but we have a better alternatives. And why do you think, unlike other countries that actively promote their national products like wine or cars, the Swedish government is less vocal about snoops and nicotine pouches in Brussels? Yeah, um, unfortunately, the Swedish government have been relatively quiet 
well, in Brussels when um, it comes to defending snows and nicotine pouches. Other countries strongly defend their interests, but this is not the Swedish way, unfortunately. And I think we need to fight for harm reduction because we can see that the smoking is a real problem in Europe. Many people actually die from smoking. So uh, by using harm reduction, we can actually save life. And um, we can ac actually uh, uh, improve the public health in Europe. And another thing that we need to consider is that the fact that snooze and nicotine pouches don't affect other people around you, like cigarettes. You don't have this second-hand smoking. Thank you Beatrice Timgren, member of the European Parliament for the Sweden Democrats. Thank you.